Hey, loan officers and real estate agents, I've got something that I think we need to be taking a closer look at in today's lending environment, and that's FHA. You know, I can remember back in the day when I started in the mortgage business in 2007, 2008, man, the majority of the business I did, probably up until 2010 or 2011, it was majority FHA loans versus conventional. Now today, that's kind of swapped, and the reason for that swap was the monthly mortgage insurance premium on FHA got more expensive. It also became life of the loan and conventional mortgage insurance got a whole lot less expensive. But with the increase in rates that we've seen lately, in some cases, I'm seeing FHA rates at a whole percentage point better than conventional rates. Now, one of the other things that's factoring into that is conventional loans recently had an increase in loan level price adjustments. DTI will come out later in the year, but right now credit score loan to value is a big, big factor. So one of the things I looked at here recently is I took, let's say a 90% 90, 90 loan to value conventional loan, and I compared that to a 90% loan to value FHA loan. Now you're probably wondering why would you do that when the minimum down payment on an FHA loan is only three and a half percent? Well, the reason is, is on an FHA loan at 90% LTV, the mortgage insurance is cancelable after 11 years instead of being life of the loan. I also want you to remember that FHA recently reduced their monthly mortgage insurance premium and on FHA, credit score is not a factor in the cost of MI like it is on a conventional loan. So anyways, let me go back to my scenario. Uh, Price out a scenario recently using 90% LTV on both a conventional loan and an FHA loan and the mortgage payment was $200 a month less on FHA. So listen, agents, loan officers, don't be afraid to show your borrowers multiple options and don't be afraid to show them an FHA loan. Hey, our job is to help our borrowers find the best possible mortgage solution to meet their financial needs. Let's make sure that we're being mortgage pros about it. If I can help you out in any way, please know I'm always here to